Hi, Biomed kids. If you're watching this, you are missing the tissue types assignment. So let's walk through that. I am using block 1A's class. Click from stream over to classwork, which you've probably already done. And this will be in Monday, 1123, or it'll be in Tuesday, 1124. It depends on if you're an A day or a B day student. So in Monday 11.23 or Tuesday 11.24, you see the assignment called Tissue Types. Okay, so go ahead and open that and you're going to look at something that looks like this. Now a lot of people are getting confused and probably because you're overthinking it. The nervous system is done for you. So let's scroll down and we have Epithelial System Hierarchy. So what you're gonna do is open up a new tab and type in epithelial tissue no oh, system there we go there we go i was waiting for auto correct so here we go the epithelial cells are classified according to the shape so we have squamous, cupoidal, and columnar, okay? So that's what I'm gonna type in for types of cells. Squamous, cupoidal, and columnar. So let's find out about tissue, epithelial tissue. Let's see if it has a special name. Let's see. I don't think there's any special name for epithelial tissue. So I'm just gonna put epithelial. And um, the description said it lines major organs. We're gonna include that. So an organ. Well, this one is actually pretty easy. If it lines all major organs in your body, let's see. Lines cavities and hollow organs. I think this is probably the, the hardest one. Oh, here we go. The linings of the mouth, lung, alveoli, and kidney tubules are all made of epithelium. So we can choose any one of those for kidneys. And the organ system, I'm just going to put the epithelial system. Okay, that one was the hardest one. So let's move on to muscular. And here I'm going to type in muscular system hierarchy. There we go. Let's see what we've got. Here we go. Microscopic, we don't need. Cell level, myoblasts, and myofibers. So that's what we'll type right here. Myoblasts and myofibers. Tissue. This one's actually pretty easy because it's all right here. Tissue level, neuromuscular junctions and fascicles. Or fascicles. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce that. All right, organ, um, any skeletal muscle. That's if you look in the organ system. system. All right, that's two of the, actually three of the four down because the first one was done for you. And let's look at connective system, same process. Let me type in connective system hierarchy. You can spell that word. I'm pretty proud of myself. Okay, let's see. Three parts. Cells, fibers, they act as glue, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. So you have, oh, look at this. 
blood and bone, cartilage, and adipose. That's the tissue, so I'm going to put that. Okay, the cells would be, um, I think I saw adipose. Um, probably um, white and red blood cells. Organ. So blood, bone, cartilage. We'll put... Um, Organ could be, I'm thinking, I'm not coming up with anything. Let's see. Ligaments and tendons. And then the organ system would be the connective system. Okay, so that's all that was, guys. I hope this helps. So get this done and turned in.